you learning? Are you ready for another meaningful adventure? Hi there, Five Stars. This is Teacher Love. And this is Teacher Clarissa. And together, get ready to discover the good, the bad, and the incredible things through science. Welcome to Sci-Hub. We're learning science makes sense. This quarter is all about living things. Specifically, we will be learning about the parts and function of a male and female reproductive system, menstrual cycle, animals and plants' mode of reproduction, interactions among living and non-living things, and the need to protect and conserve stuaries and intertidal zone. You came from your parents. The chicks came from their parent chickens, and the plant came from its parent plant. Humans, animals, and plants have one thing in common. They all reproduce and has the ability to have an offspring. When one or two living things produce, they are involved in the process called reproduction. Reproduction is a process through which living things produces another living things of their own kind. In today's episode, we will learn and understand how body parts work to help living things reproduce. Let's begin with the male reproductive system. Before we begin, Let's play a game called Male Reproductive System Word Hunt. Find the parts of the male reproductive system in the puzzle. They can be found downward, upward, or from left to right. Find as many words as you can within 60 seconds. Let's check if you found them all. Penis, seminal vesicle, corpus gland, prostate gland, vas deferens, testis, epididymis, urethra, and scrotum. reproductive system is composed of different distinct parts, which perform specific functions. Let's explore them one by one. Number 1. Testis Every single male has two overshaped testis enclosed in a sac pouch called the scrotum. Testis are the glands responsible in producing the male sex cell called Sperm cell and the male sex hormone called testosterone. Again, sperm cell is the male sex cell and testosterone is the male sex hormone. Did you know that a male can produce with an average of 5 million sperm cells in a single drop of semen? These cells are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope. Number 2. Epididymis. Epididymis is a narrow cord tube that stores sperm cells found.
hung along the side of the testis. This part is the temporary storage tube and a passage for the transport of mature sperm. Number 3. Vas deferens. Vas deferens is a long muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cell released from the testis. It also connects the testis to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Number 4. Seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle are soft-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the semen production. Semen is a sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Number 5. Prostate gland. Prostate gland is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. Number 6. Copper's gland. Copper's gland is one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for the releasing of fluid that flushes out foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Number 7. Urethra. Urethra in male is a passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Number 8. Penis. Penis is the external male organ with a tip called glands. It is covered with a foreskin that may be removed through circumcision or tuli. The organs of the male reproductive system are specialized in producing and secreting male sex hormones, which is essential to continue life. Now, let's do a recap using this table. Testis is the one who produced the sperm and the male hormone called testosterone. Epididymis is a storage for the sperm cell. Protum is the one who protects the testis. Prostate gland secretes fluid that nourishes the sperms. Penis transports the sperm cells out of the body. Urethra is the one who carries urine and semen out of the body. Side check. For today's activity, arrange the jumbled letters inside the parentheses to form the organ of the male reproductive system being described in each item. Number one, it produces the sperm cell and male sex hormones. Two, it is the external organ of man that consists largely of erectile tissue and serves also for the elimination of urine. Number three, it is where the sperm cells are stored and matured. Number four, it contributes to the semen production, a sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Lastly, number five, it is a sac that hangs behind the penis which contains the testes. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, the correct answer is testis. Number two, if your answer is penis, you are correct. Number three, the correct answer is epididymis. Number four, if your answer is seminal vesicle, that's another point for you. Number five, the correct answer is scrotum. Good job, learners! That's a five-star work! Now for this part, label the parts of the male reproductive system. You have 30 seconds to do this activity.
Let's check. Number one, prostate gland. Number two, seminal vesicles. Number three, the correct answer is penis. Number four, testes. Number five, scrotum. Well done, five stars. When boys reach puberty, they become capable to reproduce. This is the start of boys becoming a man. But first, you must be circumcised. Circumcision or tuli is a Filipino tradition wherein the foreskin of the male's penis is removed to keep it clean. But why do males need to undergo circumcision? Males undergo circumcision for personal hygiene and preventive health care. Don't worry boys, I'm here to tell you not to panic. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can always talk to your parents or guardians if you have questions and concerns regarding circumcision. Go ahead, there's nothing to shy about. Also, our doctors, nurses, and barangay health workers are here to help you. You can do it! Now, let's explore the kind of careers you can have by studying the male reproductive system. Urologist A urologist is a doctor who specializes in diseases of the urinary tract and the male reproductive system. In men, urologists treat disorders related to the epididymis, penis, prostate gland, seminal vesicles, and the testes. Urologist responsibilities include the following. Examining, diagnosing, and treating patient conditions and disorders related to the urinary tract and male reproductive system. Documenting and reviewing patient's histories. Ordering, performing, and interpreting diagnostic tests. Using specialized equipment such as x-rays, fluoroscopes, and catheters, treating lower urinary tract dysfunctions, prescribing medications for patients with erectile dysfunction, infertility, or ejaculation problems. Our reproductive organs are as important as the rest of our body. Thus, we should take good care of them by practicing personal hygiene and observe safety measures to keep it clean and healthy. Once again, this is Teacher Log. And this is Teacher Clarissa. If you want to keep learning with us, be sure to subscribe on Depend TV official Facebook and YouTube account. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time for another meaningful Sci Hub experience. Only here on Depend TV, where learning science makes sense. Thank you.